When I mention a girl in a red hood who meets a wolf in the woods while carrying a basket of goodies to her sick grandmother, you probably recognize the story. After all, Little Red Riding Hood has been around a long time. In fact, it's been traced to an 11th century poem recorded by a Belgian priest. So, yeah, it's been around about a thousand years or so. Of course, when the same fairy tale gets told and retold too many times, it can get kind of boring. That's why taking a fairy tale and changing it into something new can be much more fun. So, for today's writing tip, we're going to look at how to write a fractured fairy tale. I've got seven tips for how to fracture a fairy tale. Let's stick with the story of Little Red Riding Hood and see what happens. 1. You can change the characters. What if the grandmother became a grandfather? I know, not a big change, but it's a start. Let's take a larger leap. What if instead of a girl in a red hood, it's a boy who wears red boxer shorts on his head? New characters, new story, Little Red Boxer Shorts. 2. Change the setting. Every story has to happen somewhere, and that somewhere provides the setting. Does Little Red's grandpa live in a cottage in the woods like in the traditional fairy tale? Or does he live on a houseboat? In an apartment? A spaceship? Each of these unique settings would impact the overall story. 3. Change the conflict. For a story to be interesting, it needs some sort of problem to solve. A conflict. Little Red Riding Hood's grandma was sick. But maybe Little Red Boxer Shorts' grandpa lost his false teeth. 4. Change the plot. The story's conflict is part of the overall plot. All of those things that happen to move the story from the beginning all the way to the end. In Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red gets distracted by pretty flowers and wanders off the trail on the way to grandma's. In our story, since grandpa lost his teeth, what if Little Red stopped to pick some wild mushrooms that would be easy for grandpa to chew? 5. Change the ending. In many versions of Little Red Riding Hood, the wolf swallows both Little Red and her grandma, then a woodsman comes by and saves the day. But who needs a woodsman when we have boxer shorts? In my tale of Little Red Boxer Shorts, one super stretched, undepowered punch of Little Red's headwear saves the day instead. 6. Change the point of view. Sometimes perspective is everything. How would the wolf tell the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Would the wolf still be the bad guy? Or was he just an unfortunate wolf in the wrong place at the wrong time and now he's stuck with an undeserved reputation? 7. Create a mix and match. One more way to fracture a fairy tale is to create a fairy tale mashup. Take the characters and plots of two or more fairy tales and combine them into something new. What would happen in Little Red and the Seven Dwarves? Or what about Little Red and the Beanstalk? Or Cinder Red Riding Hood? With Fractured Fairy Tales, the possibilities are endless. And so is the fun. I had a blast writing Little Red Boxer Shorts, which I turned into a reader's theater script for elementary classrooms. Now go ahead and try your own idea. Explore these seven ways to fracture a fairy tale and see what stories spring from your imagination.